didn't have any entanglements. And his wife was her son's friend. I normally would not talk about this, but for some reason these put that on the internet. Low down. What the? Everybody in here has been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. Hey, I was sucking somebody else's. How did that make you feel? Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. Chris Rock just released on March 4th his long-awaited Netflix special, Selective Outrage. And as I would say that this was an average special, I I don't want to say it was one of his best. Of course, he's done Bigger and Blacker and and a lot of classics from years ago. But Chris Rock is still good to see him out there getting down. But the elephant in the room and everybody was waiting for him to address the Will Smith incident. As we all know, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Grammys last year. Millions of YouTubers made videos about it. Commentary was made. Uh, The Tip Network made their own commentary. But really, Chris Rock was mainly quiet about this situation. And I think most people just assumed that he had possibly forgave, but most definitely kind of put the situation behind him. Boy, were we wrong. The last three minutes, Chris Rock absolutely ripped into Will Smith over and over again and really expressed what had to be pent up frustration that men face when approached improperly in public. You see, there's an old adage that you always want to act your age and not your shoe size. And we were always taught to to put the best representative of yourself out there. So being slapped on the Grammys probably was something that Chris Rock had never even imagined would happen. I want you to imagine two millionaires getting into a physical altercation or just being slapped or one slapping another. And why did they do it? I mean, I think that Chris Rock's analogy of what happened to Will Smith was far more deeper and far more accurate than just him making a joke that may or may not have been funny about uh, Jada Pinkett, Will Smith's wife, bald head. Because what really happened and what's really going on is Will Smith has not dealt with the fact that his wife likes to sleep with other men and publicly humiliate him. I mean, the biggest thing is that she put it on the Red Table Talk. And Chris Rock eloquently dissected it saying, listen, I've been cheated on. I've cheated on someone, but I've never interviewed the person about cheating on me. And yes, we all feel like that's a little odd and maybe just a stretch. I I looked at it as Jada Pinkett trying to revive her career. Will Smith um, seems like he'll do anything for his wife. Had him looking like the Jordan crying meme. And it was just outlandish. Fast forward a couple of years later, he's out of control, slapping Chris Rock on national television and subsequently really slowing down his career. I mean, I think the only movie that he really had come out since then was Emancipation. And as Chris Rock said, he watched it over and over again just to see him get whipped. But I want to talk about the biggest thing and the biggest takeaway from Chris Rock's entire monologue and his entire bit at the end. And it was this, that we as men need to protect our public image. Shout out to Kevin Samuels. Shout out to Beautiful Lies El Wapo. Shout out to Dennis Sperling. We need to defend and protect our public image at all costs. See, the black male's public image has been destroyed in America. And some of it is our own doing. For instance, Will Smith didn't have to walk up and slap that man on national television. You know, doing things like this, what people from the outside looking in says, look, even the best of them, even the ones that we thought were the guys that we could trust to have a good example, they cannot behave themselves. The analysis would be that I don't think Will Smith would have walked up and slapped a man that he thought he couldn't handle. Chris Rock's a little guy. Chris Rock's always been a little guy. I mean, this is Pookie from New Jack City. So slapping him, assaulting him, it was a no-brainer for Will Smith because he knew that there was no physical repercussion coming back. I mean, do you think that he would have slapped somebody? You think he would have walked up and slapped 50 Cent if 50 Cent made that joke? Absolutely not. 
And Chris Rock was actually a fan of Will Smith. He cited that he watched him open up for Public Enemy back in the day. I mean, people forget Chris Rock is from New York. He's from Brooklyn. He understands hip hop. And he was a fan of Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. He cited brand new fuck. He cited things that they did. And he said he rooted for this man his entire life. And for someone that he felt like he had even a semblance of brotherhood with to slap him on public television, Chris Rock was not gonna forget. Now the thing I have and the biggest problem I have with this that anyone who thinks that him approaching this is corny or him approaching this is like he should just let bygones be bygones. No one lets that go. And we shouldn't be allowed to let it go. It shouldn't have happened, but there is always karm a karmatic reckoning for things of that nature. I've done business for years and I've seen the most shady of deals go down. I've seen people backstab each other and lie to each other to get something achieved, but it always came with a reckoning and it was always when somebody wasn't expecting it. So Chris Rock coming out and slamming Will Smith the way he did was karmaic justice at its best. And let's just leave it with this. People always wonder why Chris Rock did not strike back at Will Smith. And Chris Rock said it the best. And I want to end off of this. He said, I have parents. And my parents told me not to act a fool in public. I paraphrase. But that's how we were raised. My generation was raised that we didn't do things in front of others. If we had a problem, we handled it in our neighborhood. If we had a problem, we handled it in our house. We didn't go outside and and parade ourselves for the world to see. But this new social media age, which Will Smith is a creature of social media, even though Will Smith is older and old enough to be there before social media was a thing. He's been in media, he's been on the television personality, he's been in movies the entire time, and he rode the, that wave. Will Smith has a huge social media presence. As a matter of fact, he called it his bread and butter. So since he's with that presence, it's okay for him to do something in public that's asinine like that, where most of rational people would look at it and worry about their image and not do it. I salute Chris Rock for handling it this way. Whether you guys like it or not, Chris Rock is always gonna be one of the best comedians to ever walk the earth in a class act. And that's all I got for you today, you polite savages. Make sure you like and subscribe. Join the tip tube, you know, become one of the polite savages. Hit us up on a Patreon. And as always, ask yourself one burning question. Can you handle the tip? This is G for the Tip Network. We're out. Booty in your face. Thank you for listening to the Tip Network. Follow us on, on all social medias. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your thoughts down below. Join the tip tube memberships and the Patreon. This is Scotty and Grove. Can you handle the tip? We are going all in. Peace. We found true happiness.